What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Paul Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Paul Rowe and What's the Numbers I provided. Today, we back with another profile piece. This is on Sharif S1 Harris out of the Castle Hill section of the Bronx. Now, you might remember S1 from the whole Bang Bang Boogie rap group that started releasing music together in, I want to say, early 2008. And was featured on different websites like thisis50.com, Worldstar. Now, the, the, the group had more well-known rappers than S1, like they had Cuban Link in the group, My Son, Lord Tariq. But it was S1 and his brother Hocus that were the standouts of the group, at least to me, because if you watch any of Bang Bang Boogie videos, you would see 50 to 100 people wearing Bang Bang Boogie shirts, supporting what these rappers is doing. And you could tell, though, it was Hocus and S1 that was really bringing that hood love, that support, you know what I'm saying? It was them that had, if you want to say, like the hood on Smash, streets on Smash, that had them because that's what was catching everybody's eye 50 was kid like they got oh they got 100 people going at fat joe from the bronx let me go get these guys on my website you know what i'm saying they was moving like that so that was what everybody was taken to now the castle hill sandville area always been rough you know what i'm saying always been a lot of things going on in those areas since the early 90s it's always been it's been it's been a, it's been a gang called sex money murder that always had a strong presence in that area now s1 and his brother hocus are definitely affiliated with sex money murder and in September of 2008, the Bronx District Attorney, after a 16-month investigation, releases an indictment against members of a self-proclaimed King of Castle organization, which was a drug gang that they say operated out of Castle Hill houses. Now, some of the defendants that were arrested, they say, belonged to the Sex Money Murder, which I told you was the gang that dominates that area. And three of the people that arrested were Hocus, which is S1's brother. S1 was also arrested, and they got another brother that goes by the name of Dollar, who they said ran and was the head of the whole drug conspiracy. He also gets arrested. Now, after they arrest Bang Bang Boogie, they try to keep going, but eventually it just falls off because, like I said, without the two members who was the driving force in the streets, which is S1 and Hocus, they don't really got that same energy and that same buzz behind, behind the whole Bang Bang Boogie movement. And the older rappers who already had, had something going on before they joined the group, they just go back to doing what they was doing, and that's pretty much all you hear from Bang Bang Boogie. So eventually, after sitting on Rikers Island for a few years, as the whole court proceedings played themselves out, in October of 2011, all three brothers decided to take their case to trial. Now, a lot of the defendants that was indicted with them had copped out. They didn't say they, they didn't roll the dice and take their case to trial. But these three brothers, and I think one more other person or two more other people, decided to take their case to trial. And it worked out for Hocus and Dollar. They both were found not guilty and were able to go home. But S1 wasn't as lucky. He ends up getting convicted and sentenced to 16 to 19 years in prison. Some of the crimes that he got convicted of is robbery, assault. A conspiracy charge and like I said he got 16 and 19 years earliest parole dates in 2024 his max house in 2027 but you know he didn't just take his time and that's the end you heard of him he still had some things going for him while he was locked up in jail you know Lisa Evers went to visit him interviewed him on camera you know talked to him about you know being a rapper that has again all this time when you had a decent buzz on the street what's his mind frame what's his plans for the future when he gets out and things like that you go check that interview out if you want to now I just say, you know, he went to jail, he's 20 years old, 20 something years old, got 20 years for, you know, he ain't killed nobody. He probably saw a little drugs, they saying, some type of guns, or I don't know, but, you know, it's a, it's, it's a nice little stress he got to do. And he had a decent buzz before he go and being that he had the charisma out of the group that he might, him and his, you know, he might have had a chance to, you know, do something more. Now, the good thing is that he still got a lot of support from his friends and his family. You know, different rappers go to see him. My son went to see him. His brother be going to check him. You know what I'm saying? His brother's still doing music, so... That might be something if S1 wants to do when he come home, you know, get back in the music game, maybe. Maybe he just want to, you know, you know, be with family. Who knows? But I'm doing this piece on him because, you know, back in 08, 07, you know, Bang Bang Boogie had a little nice little movement moving. And, you know, when S1 and Hocus got locked up, that really that put an end to the movement. So, you know, it's something I wanted to touch on, you know what I'm saying, shine a little light on S1. Hopefully he be home soon and be able to do what he do. But, yo, this was the Numbers TV. It's your boy, Poe Rowe. If you mess with the content, subscribe, you know, share, all that good stuff. Like a video, you know, go follow the Instagram. We're about to hit 23,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all. And like I said, I got a lot more coming. So just stay here, stay tuned, and be back before you know it, man. I'm out of here. Peace.